Alexa, how much you had a drink tonight? I'm going to place you under arrest for your own safety to make sure you don't freeze out here. Adults are responsible for their actions, especially when drinking is involved. Uh, I'm not even drunk. I'm being honest. I didn't drink anything. I'm just okay, then, then what, why are you not able to keep your balance? No one should do anything that would be illegal in a drunken stupor. You only took what? Like a margarita shot. I'm sorry. Well, you're going to go to jail tonight for driving while intoxicated, okay? from someone crashing into a pole to someone endangering the life of their child, here are some incidents when a drunk girl thinks she's too pretty for jail. Okay, so you're under arrest for DUI, so turn around and face my car and put your hands behind your back. Alexa takes center stage for our next incident. On August 12, 2023, in O'Fallon, an officer observed a vehicle driving with the rear driver's side door open on the public roadway. The officer immediately initiated a traffic stop. Officers are not only tasked with stopping crimes, but also ensuring public safety. It is fully within their power to start inquiry if they deem it necessary. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Dude, I'm Officer Sosa with O'Fallon. I stopped you today because as you were driving, um, you had the door open. And yeah, he was we were out. about to like put him in his car. But he was about to get out of the car, then he did. Okay, where are you guys headed? So I was heading to my house, but then he did. Yeah. Um, Alexa, how much did you get a drink tonight? couple okay um and you said that you were going to take him home or something yeah no i was dropping him off at his car right here like his car was right here okay well the reason i had stopped you was because the door was open and he was hanging out of the vehicle while yeah, you he while was you were moving right here he was literally about to get out of the car but you were the well the car was driving so, yeah, and then I pulled up here. Okay, well, you pulled up here once I got behind you, and I, the reason I, like I said, the reason I had stopped you was because he was, he was hanging out of the car. So, um, okay, just a tie, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna leave them in the car for now. Okay, Alexa, I'm gonna have you step out of the car. Okay, mm -hmm. you got your insurance on your phone? I do. Okay. Okay. Alright, so you come back over here. Can you put your phone away? Yes. Do you have anything on you? It's gonna hurt me, poke me, stick no, me. Do you have any like weapons not. on you or anything? Absolutely. Go ahead not. and take your uh, purse off. Yeah. yeah. Let me take this off for one. Okay. There are body signs that may raise flags among cops who then might decide to further probe into the matter to determine the mental and physical faculties of a suspect. Did something similar happen here? Looks like you've had some, some food drinks tonight, so I gotta do a couple yeah. tests to make sure you're okay to drive. Um, are you wearing contact lenses or do you wear like a hard contact? No. You don't, okay. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is check your eyes. So put your feet together, keep your hands at your side, okay, just like that. Um, keep your head still and with your eyes and your eyes only, you're gonna follow my finger. So don't move your head, just with your eyes only, okay? Nope, okay. So with your eyes and your eyes only, don't move your head, just follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're gonna step back here. Um, so, I'm going back, back over here. So, you're going to ask me if this is okay or what? Because... So, you were operating motor vehicle on a public roadway. Yeah, you for showed, sure. You showed some signs of impairment. Yeah. And Illinois is an implied consent state. So, when you got your license, you conssented to um, any type of testing. Okay. Whether it be chemical okay. testing I'm or just anything. asking. Okay, so you can come stand right over here. Okay. okay? The next test is going to be the walk and turn. Do you turn around face me. Do you turn around and face me. Okay. Do you have any type of injuries or? No, um, absolutely not. Okay, so no injuries, lower body, no, nothing that would preclude no. you from taking a balance test? No. Okay. So what you're going to do is put your, um, we're going to have an imaginary line going right back here toward my squad car. Put your left foot on the line and put your, okay, and then put your right foot in front of your left foot, touching heel to toe, touching heel to toe. Okay. Keep your hands at your side. Remain in this position while I explain to you the test. Uh, when I say begin, you'll take nine heel to toe steps down the line, 
Turn around, take nine heel to toe steps back where you began. Make your turn by keeping your foot on the line and using your other foot to turn yourself around by taking several small steps. Okay. Keep, but keep your arms at your side at all times. Count, okay. count your steps out loud. Once you begin the test, do not stop until you've completed the test. I will demonstrate. I'm gonna do. So nine. I'm gonna do three, but you're gonna do nine. So my left foot's on the line. Right foot's in front of left foot, and I will now demonstrate the test. One two, three, you'll go all the way to nine. You'll take a series of small steps and then go one, two, three, okay. all the way back to nine to the begin to the position you began in. So ready? Okay, you may begin the test. Miss heel to toe. 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 And Proper turn. Still the toe. Okay. Oh, and that's about. So you didn't count any of them, but but that that's that that yeah. was about right. So, okay. The final test is the one-legged stand. So you're gonna stand here, keep your hands at your side. There you go. Um, stand with your feet together, just like you are, with your arms at your side. Remain in this position until I've explained and demonstrated the test to you. When I say begin, you're gonna raise one foot about six inches off the ground. Stay in that position and count out loud. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, and so on until I tell you to stop. It'll be about 30 seconds. If you put your foot down, immediately lift it back up and continue the test. Watch your raised foot with your eyes during this test. Keep your hands at your side. I will now demonstrate the test. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, and so on until I tell you to stop. Um, you may begin the test. So um, just stay right here one second. I'm going to go get something else out of my car. Just, yeah, just wait right there with Officer Boat Train. test is you're just going to take a big deep breath and blow into the straw okay just take a big deep breath and blow with one I'm not continuous do that. I'm not going to. you're not going to provide no. a breath sample no. okay um, so well, I know I don't have to so what? I'm not going to you what I won't okay that's that, that that's absolutely your choice Law enforcement only proceeds to apprehend a suspect when they are sure of their suspicion. They do not leave anything to chance. However, sometimes suspects throw a wrench in their plans and decides that they would not give them the satisfaction of removing their doubt. Okay, so you're under arrest for DUI. So turn around and face my car and put your hands behind your back, palms out and thumbs up. Don't move, there you go. Yep, they can get they can work on rides and we'll get a tow truck out here. Yeah. You have anything on you at all? That's good. Okay. Just oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you'll need that. You're good to go. And, okay, and I will grab your purse and I have your ID. So we're gonna go right up here. Got one adult female in custody for 1055. 
and we'll need an on-call tow for the high-end dialogue truck. Alexa was charged with DUI while Alexa put the life of her friend in danger. Our next individual's careless driving led her into a pole. You're under arrest for operating a motor vehicle under the influence of, under the influence of intoxicating liquor or drugs. The incident revolves around a woman. On May 21st, 2023, in Roswell, New Mexico, an officer responded to a motor vehicle accident where a car crashed into a pole. The officer quickly reached the location. In order to determine the truth behind the incident, police approached the suspects to gain insight into what occurred from their point of view. After questioning the suspect to understand the sequence of events in the police incident, law enforcement initiates supplementary investigations to ensure a comprehensive scrutiny. Is the insurance registration of the car? Just, just hang out. You're fine. You're fine. It's okay. in my phone. The registration's in my phone, but my insurance isn't working. It's okay. I can okay. get it. Hey, ma'am. I'm Officer Fuentes with the Roswell Police Department. So, what happened? Oh, so, I was going to leave because I was upset because I woke up to nobody home. So, I was going to go. As if my boyfriend was where he was, and he called, and I dropped the phone. When I picked up the phone, I felt that I felt a smash, and I looked up, and it was that. Have you had anything to drink tonight? No, 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 nothing at all. No. You don't drink at all. You don't drink at all. No. She had no, no drinks, or anything, you didn't smoke, or anything, anything like that. No, I had gotten. Um, I don't know, probably like a DUI, like four weeks ago. Um, my doctor had just put me on Xanax, and so like that had made me really sleepy, and so I got pulled over for that, and I threw out my mess on my, because I wasn't... Have you taken any Xanax today? No, I threw it all away. I haven't taken it since I was in that little, got pulled over. So you said you, you were coming this way? Yeah, Your boyfriend really called you? No, he didn't call me. He, he did call me when he seen I left because he, we have an alarm system. Okay, and then you said mm -hmm. that you had your phone? Yeah. And you dropped it? Yeah. And then you tried to pick it up and... Yeah, I think... Oh no, I got it out because I called. I just couldn't get it out through that door, but... I get you it. said the registration was in here? I couldn't find it. I have to ask you some questions. Just answer honestly. Honestly, it's going to go a very long way here tonight. Okay? So, um, the questions I'm going to ask you have you had anything to drink tonight? Mm -hmm. okay, well, when was the last time you drink? I don't drink. Okay, so you don't drink at all? No, I don't drink alcohol at all. Okay. Um, I, I was hearing that you previously got popped for DWI for Xanax. Okay. And you, do you still have Xanax? No, I threw all those pills down the drain when that happened. Okay, so you haven't had any Xanax or anything? No. Excuse me. And then what, do you do like marijuana or anything? No. So you have nothing that would cause you impairment at all? No. Okay, so what happened to that? Um, I, will, I woke up and no one was home and well, my boyfriend was just having a lot of problems so I got up and I was like, well, I'm going to go see if he says where he's at. And so I got in the car and then he kept calling me and my phone fell so I answered it and picked it up and then I heard, like I felt this, like when I hit something and I looked up and it was up. Okay, um, so you said y'all, were y'all having a fight at the house? Not at that house. He hasn't been home all day. Okay. He's been so at the lake. Like, y'all weren't fighting at the house? Or no. No. Okay, just making sure. Um, so y'all were just having like a disagreement. He was at the lake. You were kind of arguing. You went through the phone. You dropped your phone. You went to pick it up. And that's when you struck the pole. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, this is just to eliminate the process. I'm just going to run you through some fields. Just because you said Xanax and all that stuff, so I'm gonna do some sample field sobriety tests and just kind of see where your sobriety's at and let's read your family and go from there, okay? Basically, okay. just stand right here. Towards okay. you? Yeah, just towards me. We don't want you to go too far. Like you said, you have to take anything tonight, anything like that. So, when was the last time you've had those illnesses? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, a week ago maybe. A week ago? Okay, so you had the DWI um, four weeks ago because of the annexes and then you had some about a week ago. I threw it down whenever I had it. I don't remember exactly what the DUI was. I threw out my medicine. Okay. But the last time you had Xanax was a week, right? Um, it was one of my accidents. Officers consistently strive to delve deep into an issue, refusing to simply apprehend a suspect and conclude their efforts for the day, employing a method that was devised for this very endeavor. Okay, let me just look at your eyes. Okay. 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 That's what I mean. Have you just held a tip one thing here with your eyes and eyes open? Okay. Can you do that for me? Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm purposely getting into an angle. Okay. Okay. That's it, okay? So like I said, hold it to the with your eyes and your eyes only close. Kind of the same thing, hold your eyes when your eyes on. Okay, the other test I'm going to have you do. So, if you want to remain in the starting position, and if you could put your right foot in front of your left foot like this, and keep your hands to your side. And what I'm going to have you do. Like that. Keep your hands to your side, maintain that position until I tell you to do so, okay? And I'll tell you when to change positions. So what I have you do is you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps forward, counting out loud, looking at your feet, and you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps backward. You're gonna walk on this imaginary line. Can you imagine an imaginary line from the front of your foot? Can I go back like do I turn to I'll, come back? I'll give you an example and everything. So get back in the starting position for me. Can you get back in the starting position for me? Yeah, it should be yeah, there you go. Uh, do you want to use your sandals, or would you rather use no, your be barefoot? No, I do have a hip injury. Okay, cool. So it's quite easier to put your gloves. Okay, so that, that's better for you. Yeah. Okay, so um, like I said, can you imagine an imaginary line from the front of your foot on and so forth, that forever out? And what you're gonna do is imagine this line is the width of your foot. Okay. So you shouldn't be like stepping off line or anything. Like I said, you're gonna take nine little toe steps forward. Keep your lead foot planted. Turn around. And take nine steps so steps backwards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a demonstration to show you exactly how it is. I need you. To, I need you to stay in the starting position. Okay. So it should look like this. Oh, you're fine. Okay, you good? Okay. Can you get back in the starting position. Put your hands on your side. Okay. So what it's going to look like is you're going to take nine heel steps forward. I'm going to take three for demonstration purposes. You're going to take nine. Okay. Look like this. One, one, two. Three, leaving your lead foot planted. You turn around. And then it's gonna be one, two, three. Remember, you're gonna stare at your foot, counting out loud. So you're gonna take nine heel step steps forward. Um, lead foot planted, turn around, take nine heel steps back. Do you have any questions? So I took three for demonstration purposes. How many are you going to take? And you'd say the ground is level. You'd say the weather is clear. And you don't have any problems with balancing walking that should affect you tonight. I, I mean, my balance is not the best. My because balance. of your hips? I have well, I will, external fixator and stuff in my hips. Okay, I will definitely take that for consideration. Right now, I'm just trying to see where you're at, okay? So if you if you start the test, you may begin when you're ready. Sorry. You're fine. 
We're good. I don't want you to fall. So the other test that I'm going to have you do, if you get back in the starting position for me, we'll just put... Are you picking uh, No, not that one. Just put your um, feet together, hands together. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you balance one foot off the ground, foot of your choice, pocket with six inches off the ground, and while staring at it, you're going to count out 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, so on and so forth. That's how I tell you to start. Does that make sense? So it should look a little bit like this. You'll be in the starting position, hands to your side, six inches off the ground, parallel to the ground, look at your foot, and you're going to count out 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, so on and so forth. That's how I tell you to stop, okay? And make sure to keep your legs straight and your foot parallel to the ground. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions before you begin? Okay, you may begin. Give me one second. You may begin. If you feel like it'll do better, you can try your other side. 11. The police afford suspects numerous opportunities to adhere to legal requirements, thereby enabling them to fully disclose all details pertaining to the incident. Should any crucial information remain concealed, it could have adverse repercussions for the suspects. CCDC, they're going to ask these kind of questions. Huh? 
it, it was, I, I told you, you were showing major signs of impairment when we did the build, and I wanted to be honest with you, if you hadn't had anything, and I can tell that you're under the influence of something. I haven't had anything. I have mm -hmm. trouble walking on a straight line because of my hips. I can walk what about the balance this scene? way. I the lip. I have the finger part right. The the hip. I mean, I just have hip issues. Okay, so take a seat, okay? Mom, do you want your mom to take your purse? Okay, so I need you to look at me. So I'm going to read you both sides of these cards and then we'll go from there, okay? Um, are you listening? Can you hear? Are you good? I know you're a little bit emotional right now. I want to make sure that you're paying attention. Maybe you're paying attention. Okay, listen to me. I'm about to tell you something that's very important. You're under arrest for um, driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor or drugs. New Mexico Bike and Scent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test choose to take the additional independent test independent test you have the right to take a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician a licensed nurse laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test the cost of this test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency that is us do you agree to take our test okay and then on the other side i have to some more. okay listen to me i'm about to say something very important including um, a right you have. You're under arrest for operating a motor vehicle under the influence of, under the influence of intoxicating liquor or drugs. I'm requesting that you consent. I'm sorry. I am requesting that you consent to have your blood drawn or tested to determine the blood alcohol to determine the alcohol or drug content of your blood. You have the right to refuse to consent to my request. If you refuse consent. Do not face any criminal penalties for your refusal. Do you understand that right? However, refusing the consent has the consequences in the accordance with the New Mexico Comply Consent Act and state those consequences may include your New Mexico driver's life, um, losing your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. Additionally, the fact that you refuse consent may be used against you in court. Do you understand these consequences? Okay. If you consent to have your okay. Additionally, if you have the sorry, my radio is like in my ear. Turn that down. Okay. Additionally, if you consent to have your blood drawn and tested, you have the right to choose an independent additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to. A reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, licensed nurse, laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Knowing your rights to refuse and the possible consequences and your right to have an independent test, do you give me consent to draw your blood? Okay, so it's a yes, uncle. Do you understand everything I've explained to you so far? And you agree to both of them. Okay, just sit tight. The officers are authorized to administer any additional test if they deem it necessary to achieve concrete proof. This is done to further substantiate their suspicions within the legal framework. Huh? You'll get it here in a second. It'll be there too. Did they do this last time? No. This is just to rule out like alcohol. That way when it goes to court or anything, you know, they're like, oh well, how do you know it was an alcohol? I'm assuming you haven't had anything to drink at all. You said, I think you said you don't drink at all, right? When was the last time you had a drink? Five years ago. Five years ago. Deep breath. Well, as hard as you can. Just give 
just say it has to calibrate check. And then after it has calibration, then it'll test again. And it'll do an air blank and then it'll be. The woman was charged with operating a motor vehicle under the influence of intoxication, while as the woman should have known better and would have never got behind the wheel drunk. Our next individual was under the influence of multiple substances, as cops would soon find out. I can tell you've had more than one drink based off of your eyes. How many drinks have you had? The incident is centered around a 20-year-old girl. On October 9th, 2021, an officer noticed a car that was swerving and frequently running outside its lane. The officer immediately initiated a vehicle stop. Suspects think it is easy to deceive the law enforcement. However, they often look past the fact that officers have heard all the usual excuses already. They can easily differentiate between a lie and the truth. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm Sergeant Potter, I work for the Precinct 4 Constable's Office. The reason I stopped you is you're swerving pretty bad. Like, out of your lane a lot, so. Is there any reason for that, or? Um, I'm about to ride home. I don't know what the reason. Oh, oh. My windshield keeps getting blurry. I got you, okay. All right, well, you get your driver's license on you? Yes. Cool. Where you come from tonight? Uh, just like Umble. Okay. You have a main event or something? No, I'm just a friend's house. Okay. Hey, you have insurance on the vehicle? All right, here you can have this back. Do me a favor and go ahead and hop out here for me. <coughs> you have shoes? Okay. Box. Okay, that's fine with me. <coughs> you have any weed in the car? I mean, it smells pretty strong. Yeah, it's a <coughs> constant scent thing, sorry. It's a what? Sorry? It, it's a what? You said it's a constant scent? No, it's just like, you when you smoke it, it evaporates, so like... Yeah, no, I don't know. When was the last time you smoked? Like yesterday or like two days ago. It's pretty strong. It's just the smell. It's not... I didn't smoke, okay. though. Okay, no roaches or anything like that in the car? No, you can check okay. the car if okay. you want. Go, come over here and stand in front of the car for me. Have you been drinking tonight? No. Not at all? You're kind of hesitant, don't lie to me. I only took like a margarita shot. <coughs> you only took what? Like a margarita shot, I'm sorry. What's a margarita shot? Margarita shot? Like I know what a margarita is. I know what a shot is, but I don't like... Yeah, I live like down the street right here. I don't know. Well, I what's a margarita know. shot? Sorry, I'm sorry. Officers often employ different methods that allow them to remove any doubts that may form in their minds. These are in place so that no criminal can slip past the justice system on technicality. How old are you? 21. Okay. 20, I'm sorry. 20, all right. Put your arm flat at your side. There you go. You wear contacts? No. Okay. Listen, I've got this little green light. What I want you to do, I want you to keep your head straight, but I want you to follow this light with your eyes, okay? Don't move your head, you understand? Mm -hmm. All right. Keep looking at the light. Okay, it's gonna get really close to your nose, but it's not gonna touch you, okay? Keep looking at the light. Follow it all the way to the tip of your nose, all right? Come stand over here for me. Right here. What time did you have that shot at? An hour ago. Secure. Okay, we well, had more than one shot tonight. I can tell you that by by your eyes, okay? I'm sorry. My eyes are very sensitive. I'm sorry. Your eyes are what? Very sensitive. I'm sorry. Well, it, I need well, I need to wear glasses. I just right, don't right, right. So what I'm checking for is called nystagmus, and 
it changes with the with the introduction of depressants into your system okay so i can tell you you've had more than one drink based off of your eyes how many drinks have you had well i have to be honest i've only had like two and a half okay but i really only took like one because i didn't even i don't drink like that i only had like one margarita okay but uh, i just came from like right, so stand right here and face my car there you go all right what i want you to do i want you to put your arms flat at your side there you go I want you to imagine a straight line from your left foot towards the front of my car. Can you do that? Yeah. Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to take your right foot, put it in front of your left foot, just like this with your heel touching your toe. All right. Yeah. Just like this with your heel touching your toe. There you go. Perfect. Keep your arms flat to your side and don't move from that position. That's how I tell you to. Okay. All right. When I tell you to, you'll take nine heel to toe steps towards the front of my car. When I say heel to toe, I mean, literally, I want you to touch your heel to your toe each time. Okay. After your ninth step, you'll take a series of small steps to turn around, and you'll take another nine steps back towards where you're standing. Okay, so you'll take nine, turn around, and nine more. All right? All right. Yeah, stay in position Sorry, for me. Really nervous. Okay. Well, why do we make you nervous? I don't know. I've never been pulled over. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, I'm going to demonstrate for you, okay? It's going to look just no, like I this. Know it's going to look just like this, but um, I'm going to do three steps, but you're going to do nine, okay? You understand? All right. So watch me, all right? Watch my feet. Look just like this. One, two, three. I did three, you'll do nine, okay? After your ninth step, take a series of small steps just like this, and take nine more steps. I need you to stay in position for me though, please. You see how I'm standing? I need you to stand like this. Okay. Go ahead and stand like this now. There you go. With your heel touching your toe. All right, don't move, okay? And it's gonna look another one, two, three. I did three both directions, you'll do nine both directions, all right? So you understand? Uh, the whole time you're walking, I want you to watch your feet as you walk. Count your steps out loud. Keep your arms flat at your side. And don't stop walking until, you, until you're finished, okay? All right, go ahead and begin. Okay, come stand right here for me. There you go. Face me. There you go. Put your feet all the way together. All right, perfect. Do you have any kind of injuries to either one of your legs? I'm sorry. Do you have any injuries to either one of your legs? Okay. So whenever I tell you to, what you're going to do... Spread that toe. I don't know if that's going to stay. Well, you're going to get to pick which foot you want to use. Okay? So it's going to be up to you. So if you don't want to stand on the one with the broke toe, you don't have to. You can stand on the other one. So whenever I tell you to, what you'll do is you'll pick... No, no, you keep facing this way. I'm just going to demonstrate for you, okay? So you can watch my feet. When I tell you to, with your arms flat at your side, you'll take one of your feet, you're going to lift that foot up six inches off the ground, just like this, okay? With your toe pointed, both legs straight, and your foot out in front of you. You're going to keep your eyes on your toe the entire time, and you're going to count out loud so I can hear you. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and so on until I tell you to stop. You understand? 1,000? Yeah, like, like 1,001 or one Mississippi, two Mississippi's okay. okay. Yeah, are you, are you, is that better? So like 10 or? You keep counting until I tell you to stop. It's going to take about 30 seconds. Okay? So you understand? Okay, go ahead and begin. <coughs> Six inches and watch your toe. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> Okay, you can stop. The suspects generally try to remain silent, but when they realize they have no other way out, they try to appear cooperative. More often than not, this is both beneficial for the suspect and the officers. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me. You're going to go to jail tonight for driving while intoxicated, okay? You don't have to be sorry to me. I'm, I'm not mad at you, but you are going to go to jail, okay? I'm just explaining it to you. Since you've never been pulled over, I'm assuming you've never been arrested probably either, huh? Have you ever been arrested? No. Okay. All right, keep your hands up like this just a little bit. I'm going to double lock your cuffs. I'm just trying not to touch you, okay? There you go. Do you have anything on you anywhere? Do you have any weed on you in your 
closed, nothing like that, right? <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right, come over here and stand. I'm, I'm going to put you in the car, okay? I'll explain to you a little bit more about what's going to happen tonight here in a little bit, okay? But I've got some stuff I got to get done. Have a seat right there for me. Watch your foot. A point six what? Like a weed. Oh, you said you didn't have any weed. Huh? You told me you didn't have no, any weed. I, I didn't say I had, I had any weed. I said I didn't drink since like I only oh, okay. drank one margarita. Okay. But I didn't smoke anything today. Okay, but you, where's the weed at? Um, it should be like in the middle of somewhere. Like okay. Or... Okay. Hang tight. Eighty four seventy. I have one by number and I also need next rotation. <clears throat> Texas four five two two eight two one eight. While the girl was able to accept the fact that she was drunk, our next individual tried to reject outright that she was impaired in any way. So I'm going to take you to the Pullman Police Department and make sure you're safe and warm. The incident is centered around an 18-year-old girl named Mary Craig. On October 28, 2023 in Washington, officers were on patrol when they noticed two females lying in the grass. When police approached the females, they instantly noticed they were impaired and seemed under the age of 21. The officers decided to investigate the matter. During police interrogations, there are times when suspects do not cooperate fully, potentially providing the police with misleading information that could further complicate or distort the investigation. Can I help you stand? No, I'm okay. I'm being very honest. I'm not, really, I'm not even drunk. I'm just... Okay, can you stand up, please? So it's 22 degrees. It's, it's a little bit cold. It's yeah. really cold. It's a, just like this much. It's, yeah. And I'm not even drunk. I'm being honest. I didn't drink anything. I'm just okay. Really then, sad. then what? Why are you not able to keep your balance? Because I'm really sad. Okay. So if it's not alcohol, what is it? Sadness, you know. Okay. So please don't lie to me. You always have the right to remain silent. You do not have the right to lie. Yeah. My primary concern is your safety. Yeah. So I realize you're not feeling the cold because of your emotions and alcohol and whatever else is going on. Yeah. But I don't want you to freeze to death out here. I won't. I'm like, I live right down the street. Okay. Can you show me which way Goldsworthy is from here? That way and then you go, go down the street and then right down the street from here. You know? It's a little farther than right down the street, but yes, that's it's a good like direction. It's like pretty right down the street from here. Okay. I don't have my ID on here, but I am 21. Okay. I pinky promise, but what, I don't what's have your, my what's ID. What's your date of birth? My date of birth, 922-200. And you're how old? 23. <laughs> Almost 23. Okay. So, that does make me almost 23. Okay. So, you don't know how old you are. It would be like, unusual for someone who's almost 23 to be living in the dorms. I don't want to buy my own apartment because I can't afford it. Okay. But I can afford to live in the dorms. What's your last name? Craig. C-R-A-I. And your first name? Mary. M-A-R-Y. And your middle initial? E. E. Date of birth? Two. Wait, hold on, let me think. Not two. Nine. Twenty-two. 
zero zero. How old are you? Twenty. Twenty-two. That's. Are you asking me a question? No, I'm thinking. Hold on, I'm thinking. What's your phone number? Well, that's my mom's. I can't remember. But I remember... 406, I... named California. Last of Craig, Charles, Robert, Adam, Ida, George. First of Mary, Mary, Adam, Robert, Young. Middle initial, E. Edward. Dead birth, 092200, female, California. I'm thinking. Go ahead. Copy. So is that your sister's name? Well, I don't even know. I think... I don't know. Yes. My name okay. is Mary Craig. What's your date of birth? 92205. I'm too mad. I'm sorry. I can't even. I'm being honest. I'm just now. I know. Just now. I know. Just now. I know. I can tell you, I'm so sorry, I lied. Zero nine two two. What's your room number in Goldsworthy? Shit, I don't know, man. I just want to go to sleep. Copy. Can you try zero nine two two zero five? I'm a minor. I am. I'm oh, 35 here. 18. And you're from South Prairie? Yes, how did you know? Because I looked you up in the W2 system because you were lying to us about your birthday. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. I think I told you my sister's. Sometimes the police encounter situations where suspects are unresponsive rendering them unable to communicate or provide any information. During such times, the police handle the individuals appropriately and in accordance with the law, ensuring that their health and rights are respected. Yeah, so your friend's not really able to get you where you're going. Uh, so I'm going to place you under arrest for your own safety to make sure you don't freeze out here. I'm so sorry. So go ahead and put your hands behind your back, please. So, since you are under arrest, I am going to advise you your constitutional rights. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything that you do say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You also have the right to an attorney and to have an attorney present before and during any questioning or the making of any statements if you so desire. If you cannot afford an attorney, stand up for me. Uh, one will be appointed by the court without cost to you. Do you understand your rights? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you're also being audio and video recorded. There's a camera on my shoulder and it's 1.53 a.m. on October 28th, 2023. Keep standing. I'm standing. Uh, so you are under arrest for a minor in public place exhibiting the effects of having consumed liquor and making false or misleading statements to a public servant. So I'm gonna take you to the Pullman Police Department and make sure you're safe and warm. 
and uh, a few hours from now we'll make sure that you get where you need to go. Do you have any questions for me? I don't. Do you have her like room number and everything to make sure she gets where she needs to be? Uh, yes. Um, and you can talk to Sergeant Boyd and see if you can have a warmer place to go. So come with me, please. Oh, I just want you to be safe. That's okay. Yep, stand right there. Spread your feet for me a little bit. Do you have anything in your pockets that I should be concerned about? Mm -mm. Okay. Just my phone. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's my friend's babe. She put it in my pocket so I can keep it safe. Okay. And an it's Uno card? One. Oh, yeah, an Uno card. Okay. And what's here? I don't know. It's chapstick. Chapstick. And I think we'll have to. In situations of intoxication, individuals frequently engage in nonsensical speech. The officers need to use their knowledge and experience to extract meaning from these ramblings. Stand up, please. I'm standing. Hurt very badly. Okay, we'll get them off once we get inside here. Oh no, are we in the police station? Yep. I'm very sorry, I didn't mean to do this. Is it locked? Yep, it'll be unlocked here in a second. I'm good. I'm not to listen to you. I didn't even think I drink that much. It's because I didn't drink dinner. I didn't mean to, I thought I would eat dinner tonight, but then I didn't. Who is that standing in the office there? She's very pretty. Can okay. I talk to her? Can nope. I tell her that she's very pretty? Nope. Oh, okay. Can you kick your shoes off, please? They're tied, I can't. Oh, okay. They're my flat shoes. Can you untie them, please? And then I can kick them off. Nope. Okay. And then I'm holding my friend's face, but I don't think. Oh, you took my chopstick. I don't think, you know. Okay. I'm just holding my friend's face, I think. And you think? Funny. Hope so. Uh, I did it for you. Yeah, I'm so Okay. Anything in your back pockets? No, I'm not sure, sir. Okay. Unless this is my phone. Anything in your bra besides body parts? Welcome to Texas. You need to. I need to. Oh, I think I have an Uno card in here. I do have an Uno card in here. Okay. It's a skip one. Okay. So I can tell men. I can you sit down, please, so would, you don't fall down? I would love to sit down. Well, I just want you to be safe. Can I tell my mom that I'm sorry? Uh, can I see your hat, please? My hat? Yep. I my hat. Thank you. Uh, can I see your jacket for a moment? I'm just letting it kind of cold. I left it outside the party. Where were you drinking? Um, the hockey house. The hockey house? Yes. Mary Craig was charged for a minor in a public place exhibiting the effects of having consumed liquor and making false misleading statements to a public servant. While Mary at least posed no threat to others, our next individual decided to put the life of his own child on the line. Your behavior's odd, right? Some signs of impairment here that just aren't, aren't right. 
The incident revolves around a woman named Jeffrey Edward. On September 24th, 2021 in Florida, an officer responded to a 911 call from a local drive-thru reporting an intoxicated man driving with his child. The officer quickly reached the location and began investigating. As responsible citizens, it is our duty to report any wrongdoing that some individuals may engage in. If anything goes awry around us, it is appropriate to inform the police so that they can take action against such behavior. Has something comparable occurred here? Hi! How are you? Hey, how you doing? Good. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, hi. How are you? Do what? What do you mean trying to change the He's been up looking at for the addicts because we need to change the world. Oh, okay. All right. For her. Um, okay. And he's waiting on... I'm supposed to be... No. Turn your car the other way around. Go behind me. Okay. He's trying to leave. Okay. That's why I'm hanging in the window. All right. You got it? Can you, you shut her? off the car for a second? Yeah. No, no, no. Sweetie, you want to come with me where I can put your shoe on? What we do. Okay, hold on. You want me to come? This story for our kids. Okay, let me talk to her for a second. The kid. Want to come with me? Okay, come on. Let me talk to you for a second. It's okay. He's What's her friend. name? You can come outside talk to me too. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, just stand. This is for our kids, man. So okay. Really All right. Okay. I've been watching it. Mm. What do you mean you've been watching it? Uh, you know, I just, I've lived here my whole life. I don't know. My name's Jeffrey Edwards. Okay. okay. No weapons in a car? Nothing. Nothing, okay. How old is she? Hi. Does she go to school? Yeah, she goes to school. What school does she go to? Every school around St. Pete. She does? Yep. Um, why every school? Why not just one school? Because you gotta go to the good ones. Huh? You gotta go to the good ones. Okay, which one does she currently go to? Um... Okay, hey Jeffrey, how are you? Great. All right. Can you do me a favor? Step out. Come talk to me real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I just got a little situation with the baby. Just yeah. an addict trying to change some things. She's just what? She's, she's just an addict trying to change some things. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, just come back, step with me. They're gonna stay with the baby. All right, I'm just gonna have to talk to you real yeah. quick. You have your ID with you by chance? No. No. I've been watching some things around here. What's okay. going on? It's a little filthy stink in my stomach. Okay. Yeah, okay, just walk back uh, here with me, Jeffrey. I just wanted to change it. Okay. You know, you know me, at Jeffrey Edwards. You guys know me. Jeffrey, walk back here That's with me, okay? That's all I mean. Walk back kids, here with me. We gotta plant the seed in heaven. Jeffrey. You understand what I'm asking you to do? You understand what you're, you were asking me to do? I'm asking you to walk back here with me. Can you do that? Yeah, I can do yeah. that. Yeah, all right, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come what are you on. guys doing out here? Suspects sometimes try to be friendly with the police, providing them with information in an attempt to gain leniency. However, little do they know, cops can see right through such an attempt. Just walk right back here with me. It's a, it's a new gotta, age? You got to change it. It's happening. I've been looking at the world as an addict and I said, man, I gotta change it. Yeah? I gotta be the one to plant my own seed. Alright. We're gonna walk right in front so of this. The only one that okay, we're gonna walk right in front of this truck right here, Jeffrey. I'm not walking in front of this truck. Just right here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not right past it. No, you're gonna walk I right here with me, here. okay? Come on, man. I wanna talk to you right here. I was talking to you last night. Yeah. We were drinking together. Just come here. Stand right here with me, okay? okay? Cause I wanna talk to you. I'm playing one of the seeds for our kids. Jeffrey, I want to talk to you, figure out what's going on here. Where are you going? I'm going nowhere. Okay, well, come over here and talk to me. I'm going to try to figure out how we got here, okay? I just want to talk to you. That's all uh, I want to do. What's that? Jeffrey, you understand what I'm asking you to do? Yeah. Okay, come over here. I'm trying to change with our kids, man. Okay. That's what matters. Okay. And I've been watching this thing. All right. A long time. Um, there was concerns, but you're driving tonight, okay? So I'm going to be up front with you, all right? I'm going to do an investigation, all right? With, about you driving under the influence tonight, all I'm right? driving. I just walked up. You were sitting in that truck in your lap, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's just two people talking. Okay. But you understand now? I have yeah. to explain why I'm here, right? Does that yeah. make sense to you? Makes sense. Okay. Um, mind if I check your eyes? Yeah. Okay. 
No, do me a favor, just drop that. I just have to borrow it from Mexico. I'm watching this dude. I'm talking about addicts. Can you stay with me for a minute? Can you stay with me for a minute? I'm trying to focus on what I'm asking you to do. Okay. <clears throat> um, like I said, we're concerned about you driving, right? Um, so I'd like to check your eyes. Would that be all right? No. No, you don't want me checking your eyes? No? How about, let me get some information from you. Just, I'll just get all your demographics, okay? <clears throat> What's the address? When the police become suspicious about something regarding suspects, they inform the suspects about the remaining legal process. If suspects follow the legal process and still do not cooperate with the law, then the punishment could also be doubled. You want to do some field sobriety yeah. tests? No? This okay. What us do. Let me read this to you, okay? If you refuse to perform the field sobriety test, you're forcing me to make a decision. Based on my observations up to this point, up to this point, um, on your impairment, okay. Um, so far, you're not comprehending what I'm saying. You can't stay focused. Right? I've been watching addicts my whole life. Okay, that's what we do. And I know all you guys. Okay, additionally, Jeffrey, listen. Additionally, should you be charged with the DUI tonight? That refusal can be used against you. You understand that? What does that mean? That means if you refuse to do the field sobriety test, it could be used against you, okay? Yeah. Okay, you want to give those a try? No, that's alright. No? Okay. Okay, let me do something. I'm going to read for your rights, okay? Because I want to ask you some questions, alright? Okay. I'm going to ask you some very specific questions on what's going on, alright? But before I do that, I want to read you your rights. Any questions or make any statements? Do you understand the rights I've just read you? Okay. And having those rights in mind, are you okay talking to me? Yeah? Tell me what's going on tonight. Nothing. Nothing? What'd you take? Nothing. You're obviously impaired on something, okay? I, I grew up around here, man, and I know the names that matter around here, and I watch some things out there. Yeah, for you. I'm going to change it for the next generation. Okay. Well, what's going on with you? Nothing. How'd you get here tonight? What made you drive up to Bitburger? Did you get a cup of water? Did you get her a cup of water? Oh. Okay, where were you coming from? My house. Okay, you didn't never tell me where your house was. You never gave me that address. That doesn't matter. Okay, how far away is it? So you're at your house earlier today? Before you came here? Yeah. Okay. Did you do any recreational drugs or anything like that? Do you no. Any drinking? Any? No, I don't think no? so. No? Can you explain your behavior? No. No? You can't explain any of that? No? Can you tell me what's going on tonight? Nothing. And why it's, it's so hard to try to have a conversation with you? We've been having a conversation all night. Okay, if you're not answering any questions, you won't do any field sobriety tests. All right, you won't let why me check I your need eyes. To? Because your behavior's odd, right? There's some signs of impairment here that just aren't, aren't right. You grew up here, man. You know that. You gotta change it for kids, man, the next generation. Can you give me any answers at all on how you ended up here? No. Nope. No? You're not going to tell me anything? Nothing. Okay. We've been to see the water that's going to do Okay. Then we'll walk up to the car here a little person bit. Has to do it. Jeffrey, you understand what I'm asking you to do? Walk yeah, up towards the car a little bit. Okay. Here, un unlock your hands. I just put on easy position. Okay, put your hands together like you're praying behind your back. Just, just like you're praying, okay? Just like you're praying, okay? What's going on there? Where is your phone? Yeah. Can I feel a wallet? Yeah. Sure. That's not a phone. I'm asking about your phone. Come on, guys. Jeff, we're worried about... Me too. Okay. Well, we need to make sure that she's safe and with somebody. Well, right. we don't care. We're at it. Do you have anything on you that's going to stick in your pocket? No. Can you show me the phone? I have had it before, but not, not tonight. And I grew up here with you guys. Okay, Jeff, you keep saying that, right? You keep saying a couple things that aren't making a whole lot of sense, okay? 
So now I'm really concerned about what's going on with you, all right? I'm concerned what's going on with the older generation right now. Right. Well, what'd you take today? Nothing. You didn't take anything? You didn't ingest any drugs today? No. You said you're an addict. What do you usually use? Nothing. Here, have a seat back here. Yes. Can you bring me a drink from the bar? Have a seat. Have a seat so I can put the seatbelt on you, okay? Come on, and that's the beginning to drive me. Take the headset have to a seat. take me home. Okay. Please get in, okay? Sit back. Thank you. Put your other foot in. Ow! There you go. You see, I got bit by a dog. When did you get bit by a dog? Did that happen today? Here, put your foot in there. Jeff, put your foot in. That's all that matters in the end. It's okay, put your foot in. Think about it, our kids. Put your foot in. All right. There you go. Hang tight. Frequently, officers seek assistance from external sources where individuals might possess crucial information relevant to their investigation. This is done to make sure no information is left unrecorded. So how did everything start? You were married, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I had her call where I could get out here to the car. Okay. He approached me, asked me. Okay. How'd she work there? And then said, you and I are going to spread the seed and water it. I'm sorry. I'm talking to these women. And help Go the addicts. And I'm looking at his pupils. He's going, I'm song. just an NAAA baby. He's a, we are. And we it's like, the world. he doesn't. He's here to drop. Don't have anybody working here anywhere close to that. Okay. But I saw his pupils and that's like, I'm hanging on the car. I got the baby some water. Um, just one more and just a tango units. They're coming. If so we didn't drop the baby, he's if he drops not, the baby off, he's going to drop it off in somewhere like a ditch. Did you want to give him to us? I appreciate it. Thank you. When he rolled up, who did he first make contact with? Um, I went friendly. to get the check, right? And he oh. said something to me, but right. I just kind of flew by. What do you mean by, by check? Like Bill or like? Oh, uh, check. They are the banned. Band. Oh, okay. okay. He's our manager. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So he was driving this car. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is where he sat for the last what forty-five minutes. Yeah. Sure. And uh, kid it's was been in the car with him. Okay. On his lap. On his lap. Yeah. When he rolled up, kid was on his lap. Kid was on his lap, literally driving, and the kids on the lap. Mm -hmm. You ever seen this guy before? No. Never. Never. Okay. But he wants help. He needs to get paid, and he says, "That's what he said." Kept saying he's an addict. I'm an addict. He's an addict too. No, he's but the world. We're gonna save the world. We're gonna save the world. Who's the one that had most contact with him? You. I've been talking to him a lot. A lot. Okay. Has he said that he's done anything today, drugs-wise or anything? He has not said anything about doing drugs. He started shaking. Yeah, he's shaking a lot. Shaking a lot. Yeah, you notice his pupils. His pupils are huge. Okay. Right. Even with lights, I mean, even with lights. I looked at her. I was scared. And hers are her, a quarter of the size. Baby, I drop her off okay. somewhere and just. Let All right, it. we have some officers coming out here, so we can just stand by for like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. All we right. Just, uh, I, I was just concerned about the baby. He dropped the baby in a ditch somewhere or something. Okay. Or give her to a stranger. Wanting yeah. me to call somebody that doesn't exist to give, and then t saying what that kind I'm of her mother. Did he have with you? Just, I'm her mother. Says, no. but you're your mom? Yeah. And then okay. I said, well, you know what? Let and he go. said, spread okay, his go. RC okay. and water it to save the addicts. For NAA. Just NAA. gone. Do you recognize him ever being here? No. I've never okay. seen him. Here. I've been here. I've been the manager here for over five years. Okay. And I've right. never seen him. Or the little He'll girl. get evaluated when our units get here, yeah. and we'll take it from there. Let me just get you guys' names. He's actually Absolutely. asking for help for himself. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's but one thing. I know he's doing the wrong thing, but he's also intoxicated and driving with a kid inside. Yeah, I'm driving. What's your first name, Mary? Mary. Well, I mean, I know it's your first Mary name. Mary Lee. M-A-R-Y. <laughs> I'm not George. under the influence. M-A-R-Y. <laughs> 2655. All right. So you first made contact with him. Just in passing, yep. I was said no. And then you notified her? She came in, my other bartender came okay. in to me, mm -hmm. and I grabbed her. Mm -hmm. And told me to go feel it out. And I said, go see what really is going on. Mm -hmm. She came back in, I said, call the police. Okay. Jeffrey Edward was charged with DUI and felony child neglect. For more videos about criminals, hit the subscribe button.